morning it's the oh, 12th i think 12th of july just having a quick look before it's only six o'clock i'm just having a quick look before we're having some concrete delivered so concrete first wagons coming at seven and then throughout the day to do uh, a bit of a corn store we're gonna uh, we're doing so yeah i'm having a quick look at our fodder beat and yeah very pleased in fact the rain's come because it was starting to flag a bit um this is there's two different varieties there's blizzard on the high sand and then there's this jam on and christ i mate, it's bulking up real good look but growing out of the ground i got told this jam on a grow out at ground so i hope it doesn't create problems for lifting it but yeah it looks fantastic but there's my weed control i've got a lot of fat end coming through which isn't going to be an issue because the 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 fodder bit is that strong that it'll grow away from it but it'll be messy by the time harvest comes uh, but it is very messy land this um but yeah very pleased and whether i should have put all blizzard in i don't know because jam on is quite a soft <coughs> excuse me soft variety god i've just went through but the blizzard looks like it's bulking up. They are as big. Yeah, I don't know though. It's bulking up. Can't see. Bulking up. But growing into the ground rather than out of the ground. So yield is there, but it's underneath. Yeah, very, very pleased with that to be honest. I'm going to get someone to drill it next year though because we drilled it with a little 12 row stand here and uh, I don't know we've got a few gaps and spacings was good but not good enough so I'm just going to get someone we can, well as long as this year goes all right because it's like we've never grown it before and we can market it all right we're going to uh, we'll get someone in to drill it if we drill it next year yeah okay yeah look at this jam you see that? That's good, isn't it? That's a big, that's a big fodder bait already. But like I say, growing out of the ground, my dad's been tidying up with his topper. That was a bloody ginger catlock. Don't know where it's appeared from. Be yeah, come here, come. Willow, Willow, Willow. Come here, come here. Aye, aye, aye. Come on, Will. Yeah, we just need to tidy up. Christ almighty, we've just got some junk on this farm. But saying that, oh, look here. Like to most, it will be a trail of load of scrap. But to us, we keep coming. I come other day and got two pieces of steel off it. Fall bombing again. And uh, yeah, to most it's junk, but you'll go by a lump of steel like that. That's a leveling bar off it, the power of that. You'll go by a lump of steel like that, a lump of box section, that grid. You'll be talking 250 quid for a lump, a six metre lump. So, if I've got three metre there or four metre there, and I need a bit of steel for some that, it's all there. So, yeah, you can easy, very easily scrap everything, and then you want some it, but yeah, Dad's been cleaning up. We just need to sort of, I don't know, we, we need, we've got a lad bringing some rubble, so thanks very much, Rich. And we keep leveling it out a bit and hard standing it and uh, we just want some hard standing where we can keep clean start a bit of machinery and our trailers so we aren't making a mess and paddling, paddling shit into the yard in winter maybe even heaps of straw on these bases just to make it a lot a bit, a bit tidier <laughs> yeah it just keeps dropping us a little bit of rubble off and we keep moving it into position and wherever we want it and it works well Right, we'll go see what concrete. Yeah, we'll put this concrete down on Monday morning, first thing. And we left it a couple of days to go off, and uh, we're, we're doing the other side. It's just like a, well, basically a general purpose shed, but with the option of pouring some corn in. I mean, we could shove 200 tonne of wheat in here, if need be. And we are gonna clad all the fronts and put doors on. So that'll be cladded, obviously. That'll have a big door. I, I like the look of, uh, these American hydraulic doors will sort of go up and create a bit of cover. And uh, I think, oh, where are we? A Mecham. Um, 
So you have a, a unit, a hydraulic, electric hydraulic unit, and you press them to put your doors up. You know, watch this space, I don't know. Winter time, we might, uh, we might have a go. But, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, look, a lot of people look at these sheds, hey, you're gonna tip corn in here. Well, it's possible, isn't it, if you're careful? I mean, heap it up to top at walls, because we've re all these walls are reinforced forced with two posts in between, so you could ape it to the top. And uh, yeah, it'd be a good little temporary stall. Like. And the idea is to do next star three bays as well and clad it all off so it's a corn star. Well, general purpose shed and corn star, because our main corn star, we re roofed it oh, five years ago. And I noticed now the floor starting to give, but my dad put this floor down in, uh, in the 70s with a little, it was over there, Teagle cement mixer on back of a back of a tractor, just using not the proper gravel, just face gravel, what came out of the bloody local um, quarry. You know, it wasn't really hard enough. And it was all right when trailers were sort of three and five tonne. But now the 15, 16 tonne on super singles, it's starting to move and crack. And it's just giving up. And uh, the plan is it next, I, th I think in five years time, it will be really knackered. So plan is probably to, uh, I don't know, take a, bit of, take a bit of stress off that shed so we can put corn elsewhere and use that for storing machinery or even fill it with, with something else anyway. Uh, instead of putting a brand new floor down. That might not make sense to you, but it's very low in places as well. Um, so, I don't know, I've got a plan anyway, but yeah, this concrete can... Uh, yeah, this concrete, yeah, I shopped about a bit, no, I shopped about, because, and I ended up going to our local firm, because he always looks after me. Um, I priced a buyer's group, and they couldn't get nowhere near. And it's a right good stuff. It went off, it went off in... Uh, Oh, no time. It went off in, you could have walked on it in, uh, in five hours. And it's a lovely colour as though it's got loads of cement in. And uh, yeah, yeah. Very, very pleased. So yeah, we're doing this side. But uh, I watched news this morning about, well, it was last night actually. I watched news last night. Noise me to death watching news nowadays. I'll be here carrying stuff all over. Yeah, look, that's what she does. She grabs stuff and carries stuff next minute. You've got that in the middle of the yard and throw a bloody tire. Behave yourself. Yeah, watching news about the, uh, the state of our hospitals and schools or one thing or another. Well, when are they going to realise that they're wasting money? You know, like these jobs aren't getting done efficiently. I mean, this bloody job here. I mean, we've done it as cheap as possible and a bit of hard work. Well, nowadays it's just like shell money in and toss it off, you know, toss it off and make the most out of what you can get. Like, I was talking to a fellow edge cutting contractor the other day. He says, oh yeah, did a job for uh, council. And uh, he says, we worked till 10 o'clock. There was a team of people picking litter up behind him. He was doing these uh, grass verges and edges. Team of people cut, cutting literal first day. Oh no, stop half ten, stop. We've done enough for today. We have to make this job last. What? What's all that about? Get get bloody job done and get on to the next one. Well, how's that cost effective? So there's someone at the top knowing what's going on there. Want sacking, you know, and make it more uh, cost effective, you know. So you get job done. Well, this is happening in every organisation. And uh, why people aren't sort of seeing the wasted money in these uh, projects, I do not know, you know. Uh, anyway, runs over. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. They're coming in at seven. First wagon at half past, we'll get some visqueen down. Put some plastic down first, so it's damp proofed. And uh, put six, we'll put about six inch down. And yeah, good. It's 22 cube going in here. And yeah, our local firm, Sandsfield it's called, give them a, give them a plug, because bloody hell, they shocked me. They said, uh, yeah, he said, uh, yeah, because I support local. I try to support all lo local firms, you know. Um, well, so they stay around, to be fair. You can go, and, and, he, and he, he beat them all on price anyway, so. So yeah, that's on today's job. Then I want to desiccate our rape. We've got some rape to desiccate, so.
Go up. Busy, busy among car. We're getting rid of last year's and putting this year's in that tower. We we sort of vowed never to use the tower again, but um, we are because we've got some barley what ain't very clean, and uh, it's just sort of gets rid of some car, uh, some barley what's um, 18% and sort of full of you know not so clean with brome and one thing or another. So we are using it anyway. Not to the uh, disgrace of them two lads. Yeah, we're just clearing wheat out. Bloody hell. Look, well, there's more than we thought. We sold two load, thinking that would be... Anyway, there's going to be three, so it's a bonus. But we didn't sell this uh, very well. I mean, this hasn't been sold at a good price, but not, not uh, nowhere near... Well, it ain't got, uh, didn't have a two in front of it anyway. I'll put it that way, so... I'm off spraying our rape now, it's too far too windy but that ah, just keeps these bloody horrible showers and it's but I mean I think the roundup will get in the canopy you know and uh, there's nothing round it what's vulnerable to get drifted onto so it's gonna have it because uh, yeah some of it's shedding some of it's uh, as green as grass like so, so it's gonna have it Stick to try and key them pods together so they don't shed. But yeah, it's going alright, but yeah, black cloud on the level. So we don't want that to, to get it. 
So yeah, I got me dividers on. It went well. It went really well. They just part the crop so you can go through because I was combining rain through uh, oh god. That were all Lexia with the 620. Oh well, bloody in the tram lines. Oh god. In the tram lines there was like lines of it. Good rape just paddled into the ground. I thought bloody hell we'll have to rectify that. So we built these uh, divider things. Yeah, they just divide it enough and before it flops back in, your um, your wheels are through it. You see what I mean? See what's coming? Is it? 